Welcome to this Anova Systems web snippet on getting extra weldment profiles from SOLIDWORKS content. Sometimes when you're creating a structural member within SOLIDWORKS using the weldment functionality, you find that the default standards and types are often limited in the number of sizes they've got. Now SOLIDWORKS have thought ahead on this, and if we come over to the design library, under the SOLIDWORKS content and weldments, you'll see there's a number of standards listed. And what this does is if you can control click on any of these standards, you download all the weldment profiles for that standard. Now in Windows Explorer, I've already downloaded the DIN standard. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extract that to this location. I want to remove the, the last name, so I'm removing DIN, although it would be BSI if I downloaded the BSI standard. And I'm extracting this to the standard weldment profile location. So we've got program files, SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS, LANG, English, weldment profiles. All I need to do is check that underneath the name of the standard, DIN, I've got the shapes of the various beams within it and then within there I've got the sizes of my profiles and now if I jump back into SOLIDWORKS and start the structural member tool again you'll see I've got DIN listed then I've got the various different types of DIN standard beam and within that I've got all the sizes I can pick from now if you want to create a company standard you can do it in exactly the same way you just need to use the same folder structure so you can create a top level folder for example called company standard You then need to put within it the various different shapes of your profile. And then within this folder, you would save your various different profiles. And if I jump back into SOLIDWORKS and restart that structural member tool, you'll see I can choose company standard now and the channel, although I've got no sizes created yet. Thank you very much for watching.